Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 45 of 2020, forming the Board of Trustees for the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies under the chairmanship of the Foreign Affairs Minister. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa Al Khalifa, Dr. Nasser Mohammed Al Blushi, Dr. Ibrahim Yusuf Al Abdullah, Dr. Mohammed Ghassan Sheikho, and Dr. Sheikh Amnira bin Khalifa Al Khalifa will serve as members for a renewable four year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, on the successful surgery he underwent. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless Sheikh Sabah with a speedy recovery, lasting good health and happiness, to continue to lead Kuwait towards further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with Kuwait's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. His Majesty was reassured about the health of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, following his successful surgery. His Majesty the King wished His Highness the Emir of Kuwait lasting good health and happiness. The Kuwaiti Crown Prince expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his sincere feelings, wishing him lasting good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, where she briefed His Majesty on a number of projects the authority intends to implement this year. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of BACA in maintaining national heritage and civilizational and cultural monuments in the kingdom, in addition to enriching the cultural and literary movement. His Majesty was Sheikh Hamay and BACA further success. Sheikh Hamay briefed His Majesty on the latest developments in the Pearl Path Project in Amharag, listed in UNESCO's Global Human Heritage, which will be completed by the end of 2020, in line with the Dubai World Expo, which will allow its visitors to discover the history of Bahrain. His Majesty also viewed the five projects which will be implemented by BACA this year, including two projects within the Pearl Path, namely the opening of the pedestrian bridge that links the Bumahar Castle to Halat Bumahar, the restoration of the Gesariya Market, in addition to completing the restoration project of Al Fadl Mosque Minaret, the opening of the textile factory in Bani Jamra, and the project of sound and light in the castle of Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Al Fatah in Rafah. Sheikh Hamay gifted His Majesty an artwork made by artist Rashid Al Arifi, which reflects the importance of Bahrain as a major center for natural pearls. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, on the successful surgery he underwent. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Highness Sheikh Sabah with a speedy recovery, lasting good health and happiness to continue to lead Kuwait towards further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Kuwait's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. His Royal Highness was reassured about the health of the Kuwaiti Emir, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, following his successful surgery. The Kuwaiti Crown Prince expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his noble feelings, wishing him lasting good health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, following the successful surgery he underwent. His Royal Highness wished His Highness the Emir of Kuwait lasting good health and happiness to continue leading Kuwait towards further progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, chaired the coordination meeting of the Parliamentary Division Delegation, which was held to discuss the developments of the participation in the 13th periodic meeting of GCC Presidents of Legislative Councils, the Shura Councils, Council of Representatives, the Federal National Council, and the National Assembly. Zainal affirmed that the exceptional circumstances resulting from the outbreak of the pandemic increased the importance of joint cooperation between the Gulf Legislative Councils and impose the urgent need to come out with effective initiatives to support the efforts of the governments of the GCC to overcome all challenges and achieve more stability for the Gulf states and their people. Zeno stated that the meetings of the Gulf Legislative Councils are an essential pillar of the system of joint parliamentary work as they contribute to setting visions on taking legislative cooperation towards broader horizons. 
In the presence of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Governorate received 2,000 medical masks from Bahrain Society for Women Development and the Good Imprint Association within the framework of the Governorate's efforts to combat COVID-19 and to enhance precautionary measures through community partnership with different sectors. Also present were the president of the board of directors of the social of the society, Sheikh Al Ibn Bint Abdullah Al Khalifa, the president of the society, Khadija Sayyid, and a number of officials in the governorate. His Highness affirmed that the role played by the governorate in coordinate, coordination and following up with the security services and the various private institutions in spreading awareness by adopting many security and social initiatives enhances precautionary measures within leading social and security initiatives in society. He praised this initiative that reflects cooperation with the society, which strengthens the, the necessary preventive and precautionary practices by receiving Bahraini-made medical masks. Sheikh al praised the role of the Southern Governorate in the joint coordination and cooperation, highlighting the community and civil role in embracing targeted initiatives and programs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has rejected statements and allegations issued by some organ organizations regarding the death sentence imposed on July 13, 2020 on two individuals convicted of the premeditated murder of a police officer in 2014. The Ministry said that such statements are based on false information and misleading claims sourced from groups with a clear history of spreading baseless anti-Bahrain propaganda. It's underlined that the Kingdom of Bahrain legal rules and procedures are fully consistent with international law and human rights principles adopted by the United Nations and that its courts uphold all guarantees for defendants during all stages of the trial. It's added that every stage of the two men's trial and appeal process met all the requirements of the due process and fair trial, including legal representation of the examination of all the evidence against them, in which 15 judges reviewed the case over a period of six years and were unanimous convinced that the evidence against the accused proved their criminal responsibility. The ministry said that Bahrain is like other countries and that its laws and criminal justice system aim to protect the private rights of citizens and residents, maintain the stability of society and uphold the rights of any person accused of an offense. The ministry affirmed that the death penalty is imposed only very rarely in Bahrain in only gravest cases and is not inconsistent with international human rights law as confirmed in Article 6 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The ministry concluded that should the country of the world and especially the Islamic countries agree to take a position by reviewing the abolishing the death penalty, the kingdom will seriously consider addressing the issue. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,114, with 577 recoveries, 531 registered new cases and one death. 297 of the new registered cases are expatriates and 234 are contacts of active cases. The deceased are a 59-year-old expatriate and the Ministry expressed sincere condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible. 